We're often called to deal with incidents of fishing distress uh, and there can be many different causes of this um, but quite often we find ourselves dealing with cases of low oxygen levels. Um, we use two different types of method um, to deal with this. We use mechanical aeration such as pumps uh, and surface aerators or we use chemical aeration, um, in that case hydrogen peroxide. This is our basic hydrogen peroxide dosing kit based around a pump unit um, it uses Venturi um, principles and water pressure to draw hydrogen peroxide from drums, uh, in this case it's just water, um, down the pipe, mixing it within the barrel uh, and back into the river. Hydrogen peroxide is uh, H2O2, so it's basically it's water with an extra oxygen molecule and it's quite unstable, so when it gets into the river or lake, that oxygen molecule is released and rapidly aerates the uh, affected water. So there's a couple of uh, ways we use mechanical aeration to raise oxygen levels in lakes or rivers or drains wherever it's needed. Um, sort of bubble aerators which are often sunk to the bottom of the lake or river. Um, real simple, a simple pump that pumps air down through the pipes into the diffuser which is at the bottom of the river or lake. This uh, pumps air up through the water uh, and the air as it's going through the water levels can help displace the surface, create a larger surface area which again allows oxygen just from the air naturally to diffuse into the water. Um, it's really important um, for us at the Environment Agency for members of the public to alert us of any uh, signs of fish in distress. Uh, two really common signs of fish being in distress. Um, the first one would be fish gasping at the surface. So if they're, they're at the top and their nose is out, that's a really good sign if they're not sort of splashing around that something perhaps might be wrong. And also if the fish appear lethargic, so if they're not spooking away from members of uh, the public on the bank or if they see you, again that can be a common sign that perhaps something's wrong. So if you do see these, it's really important to let us know that something's up so we can react to them uh, re really quickly and hope to prevent any disasters happening. Um, the best thing to do is phone our emergency hotline which is 0800 80 70 60.